you just kind of describe the scene today? I mean, I'm guessing it was a little bit normal, a little bit weird, and, and just kind of how it how it was for you being hey there, there, Mark. Um, yeah, you know, everybody obviously going in wearing masks. They had a station to wash their hands. Um, today, I saw Mikey Perez and Jose Martinez up there um, played some catch. Did a little bit of workout with TC. Um, did some running and. Obviously, the main the main deal now is to try to stay in shape. You know, um, we're not sure when, when we'll be back back out there, but hopefully soon. And the main thing is keeping the, keeping our legs under us and staying in shape. But it was good to see new faces. I mean, it's been a while since we got to see each other and hang out and be on a routine. So today was uh, it was good to have that little change of scenery. Hey, Os, does, does it feel like things are getting close to you guys coming back? I love the background. <laughs> nice. I see one. Um, yeah, you know, I think today was the first step in the right – I think it was a step in the right direction, being able to go show up to the field. You know, we're creatures of habit. We, we want to have something routine-based. Um, and uh, it almost being June now and not being on a routine, being able to go to the trot today, uh, definitely felt like things are starting to move in the right direction. Um, and, you know, hopefully we come up with something here soon. Austin, uh, Kevin said this uh, this afternoon that they would be open to, you know, the feedback from the players to try and see what works and what doesn't with some of these. Uh, you know, at, even though it was just the first time, uh, were there things that you liked and some things that you maybe would want to see added on to the, the workout uh, routine that goes on there? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think today was, was very um, – very easy and, and short, but I think, I think that being able to do that and, like I said, see faces and get outside of our homes, and it's, it's hard for us right now to find motivation to work out in our backyard or throw with our wives or work out with our dogs, per se. You know, it, it's, it's hard to do all that kind of stuff and find that motivation. So um, opening up the trough is huge. Being able to go there, find routine, and um, I think what we're doing now, go in, do a warm-up, uh, get some running in and then some throwing. I think that's all you need right now, um, especially with what's going on. Austin, uh, for you personally, hitting wise, what have uh, you been doing? I know we've seen some videos of you and Manly, um, you know, her chasing yeah. the ball, but uh, what's kind of been your routine uh, with with hitting over the past couple months? Oh, uh, you know, I think I think early on, um, we, we were out the first couple of weeks after spring training when everything started to die down um you know i was sitting pretty heavily um just continuing to stay in shape continuing to hit two or three times a week um off a tee we, we bought a net and we just have a tee with some balls we hit in the backyard or something like that but uh as of recent it hasn't been as much um the main the main thing i've been doing is running um body weight workouts and that's kind of the main thing i've been focusing on i think when we come back uh, i think it's going to take position players a little less time to be prepared than it would be for pitchers so I think for us, like I said, us position players continuing to keep our legs under under us and keep our weight down. I think that's the main uh, the main priority right now. Hey Austin, with the other three major sports seemingly getting ready, ramping up in the highly publicized back and forth with the money tie, how important from a fan perception is it just to make sure you guys have some type of season? Because if you guys don't get out there and the other three major sports do, it's not going to. I, I lost a little bit of your question at the end, but I, I got the majority of it. Um, I think I think it is important. I mean, I think obviously the main concern, the priority is staying, is staying healthy and um, not contracting the virus, and continuing to, to wash our hands, stay away and six feet and all that good stuff. I think that's a priority, being healthy and keeping our families safe. But in the uh, also on the other side of it, fans growing up, watching baseball games, going to baseball games, that was, that was an important part of, life that was kind of a, a ritual for us and i think for for us um being able to to play out there in front of our fans um you know that's that's what we play for you know and and right now you know we're not even obviously with us not playing um having no sports on tv it, it's it, it's kind of tough um running out of netflix shows running out of stuff to watch you know you you uh you're used to that like i said routine wise you're used to 
watching sports on TV, not even baseball, but football, basketball, anything. You're just, that's just part of, part of your life. But, you know, I hope that they, they come into an agreement soon because we want to get out there, not only for us, but for our fans as well. Austin, you mentioned just the motivation of trying to hobble together your own workouts in the backyard or whatever it might be to stay loose. At what point throughout this quarantine did you sort of hit a wall or just kind of this, this time, this moment is, is getting old? We need to move forward. Yeah, uh, I would say just recently, you know, recently it's, it's been tough. Um, you know, I think it's been tough for a lot of players to continue to, to find, that, my, find that motivation and stuff like that. But like I said, the hard part is the hitting and the throwing. I think it's a little bit easier to go out there and, and run and, and work out, especially for me. Uh, we have our pool in the backyard, do some laps in the pool, just try to find things to do to stay in shape and to, um, you know, make the workouts fun because it's definitely getting old, uh, not, not being able to go to a gym or not being able to do that kind of stuff. It, you know, it's definitely, definitely really, really hard. But, um, you know, I was talking to my wife earlier, find, trying to find the silver linings in it, getting to spend time with her getting to spend time, um, you know, with some family and uh, our dog and being able to fish and stuff like that. You know, just we've never gotten this time together. It's been eight or nine years since we've ever gotten to do it. This is something this time of year together. Um, so we're trying to take advantage of it. Austin, we saw you were uh, earlier in the spring. You were jumping onto your truck. Uh, you were jumping <laughs> out of the pool. How are your player jumps today compared to those? <laughs> uh, I, I continue to try to be creative. Jumping on the car uh, – you know, I try – that. That that's hard. That's really hard to do. Uh, jumping out of the pool, I've always kind of been able to do that kind of stuff. I don't know. Just you try to keep your fan. you kind of try to keep the fans engaged and try to keep it fun, you know. Um, seeing those posts on social media and stuff like that is pretty cool to stay engaged with fans by, by doing stuff that they haven't seen you do before. But, uh, no, the jumping part of it, um, I'm still trying to find ideas. If you got some, let me know. All right. Did you jump today at the trap or no? <laughs> I did not. No, I didn't. I'm going to go swimming later. I'm going to do that in the pool. Gotcha. And then one other question is, who you mentioned, I think, Michael Perez. Who else did you get to see today that you hadn't seen or hadn't talked to or Zoomed with? Who were you kind of – it was good to see on the field. Yeah, uh, Jose Martinez was there. Um, I was towards the last wave. So, there were a lot of guys – I think there was like uh, 10 or so guys that came earlier on. I didn't get to see them. But, um, you know, obviously Wednesday and Friday, I'm sure there will be a different group of guys out there. But getting to see, you know, some of the clubhouse guys – Joe, uh, get to see Cash, and just see them. It's been a while. It feels like it's been a long time. So being able to, like I said, change the scenery, talk with those guys, hang out, cut up, um, it, was, it was fun. As tight as you guys are, Austin, is it weird to see everybody in masks? Yeah, it's definitely something to get used to for sure. Um, but obviously the, the main priority is being safe and stuff like that. But, you know, We'll take and we need to do any person we just get, I think a lot of guys can say the same thing. Go ahead, Mark. No, I was gonna say, Austin, along those lines, some players have spoken out and said like they felt like they were risking their lives to get back out there, things like that. Do you sound like you you'll be comfortable with the protocols, whatever they are? You know, I think uh, I trust I trust the MLB. I trust um, you know, I trust the union just to gather a plan together to keep us safe. Uh, obviously the main priority is keeping our safe, keeping our families safe. And um, the main priority or priority is health. Um, but I trust those guys to continue to put together a good plan um, to find every single outlet testing available each and every day. Uh, like I said, we just want to get out there and play. Um, and if we can find every way to do that and we're being completely healthy, can doing controlling everything that we can, then I think a lot of guys will sign up for that. Some of these uh, Instagram photos are pretty impressive. What's the largest fish you've caught during this and your best round of golf? Best round of golf. We won't talk about the best round of golf. No, I'm just kidding. We, uh, I caught a 130-pound tarpon uh, Wednesday. So that was a good catch. The tarpon are going really well right now. So we're out there every day, man. We're about to go out there soon, but if this weather doesn't hit. But, um, you know, best round of golf. We played at Palmetto Bay yesterday, my dad and I. Uh, it's like a 90. I'll take a 90, but uh, a couple of mulligans in there. But started to figure it out. Get, never got to play golf this time of year. So being able to watch that match yesterday with Tom Brady and all those guys was, was pretty <laughs> – got me excited again to go out there and golf. Some what do you do with a 130-pound tarpon? Uh, well, you can't keep it. They're protected. So you take a picture with it on the side of the boat. You let it loose. And uh, 
post it on Instagram and get some cool, <laughs> some cool feedback. <laughs> Austin, have you watched any of this uh, Korean baseball league? Uh, I've watched, I've watched a little bit of it. I've seen some highlights through your Twitter. Uh, and it's just on so late, obviously on night at night. So I'm not up trying to get a normal schedule in. It's nice to kind of during the baseball season, you sleep in and stuff, but now kind of living like a normal lifestyle, being able to get up early and, um, get out on the water early and stuff like that. Uh, I don't, I don't get to catch those games, but, um, I'm glad that they're doing well over there. It's good for baseball. It's good for sports that they're out there playing and, uh, you know, fans are engaged. Hey, Austin, we joked with, with Cash earlier and we asked him what was the most athletic thing he saw today, you know, considering that the workouts were pretty light. What would you say was the most intense or athletic thing that you, you did today in the workout? Uh, got my heart rate up pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. Touching a weight for the first time in three months. Uh, all it took was a couple uh, couple rounds of lunges to, to get me uh, get my heart rate going. So, uh, but the most impressive thing I saw today was Joe Benj throwing the catch at me at about 200 feet out. That was impressive. I haven't seen Joe throw before, and he was pretty pretty spot on. So that was cool. Did uh, Austin overall? Did it? Did it? I mean, was it good? I guess to be back. It sounds like you're saying it was right, even though with all the restrictions and the masks and the limited activity. Yeah, you know they the, the you know our staff they put together a good plan. We trust them. Put together a good plan continue to take precautions and stuff like that. But like I said, it was good for us to get out there, um, continue to stay safe. Obviously, wearing a mask, I don't think that's really a big deal. Um, and that was kind of the only thing, playing catch, you know, obviously with your own set of balls and, and um, stand, stand six feet apart. Obviously, the trap is fine with that, being, on, being in the outfield grass. And, you know, they were, they were very smart about it. And uh, we trust the staff to continue to take the best precautions they can and get us back out there. Did today have a similar feel to the start of spring training? I mean, in terms of rust and just kind of getting back to the swing of things? It did, yeah. Uh, I was joking with Joe. It felt like December or January in, the, in an off season. You know, we were just starting to get ramped back up and um, finding that motivation. You know, you hit the off season and last year, you know, middle of October, uh, you take a, uh, about a month or two off and then you start getting that motivation again. That's kind of what it felt like today, uh, which is a good feeling. Getting that, getting that, uh, that mentality back, getting that mindset back, um, and just trying to be as prepared as you can to to get to playing soon. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely good to to get back for sure. Hey, Austin, that uh, the big hey document from the MLB with all the health and safety protocols. Um, just the first workout today. Um, you know, looking at like social distancing and that document said, you know, change, getting a new ball after it's hit into play. Today, did it give you a better idea of what a game might look like and what you want to change in the finalized agreement? Um, a little bit, you know, with the mask and stuff like that, seeing seeing some of the some of the guys and, you know, cast and all that with the mask. I think that's something that a little bit, you know, to get used to. But, you know, I don't I don't know necessarily if it um, you know, getting used to a game like scenario. I don't know if it was there yet, but I think the more and more we get out there together and um, continuing to ramp up drills and continuing to ramp up team activity, I think that'll really start to get a feel of what it's going to be like in the, uh, you know, in the game like scenario. Um, but like I said, you know, if we need to take every precaution we can, we just want to get out there and play for our fans. And, uh, obviously the, the health is the main priority. Hey, hey, Austin, I know you guys have your group chat, your team group chat, but like, is there more conversations? Is there more excitement now that it looks like, you know, the light's at the end of the tunnel there? Yeah, you know, it's, it's good that we continue to check in each other almost every day on what's going on um, and all the information out there and stuff like that. But, you know, I think for us, we have a good idea. Um, so we continue to remain, remain in constant communication. I think everybody's on the same page. Um, but like I said, it's not in our hands. It's in the MLB's hands. And, you know, hopefully they come up with something here tomorrow or the next the next couple weeks. I have time for a couple more questions. Austin, could you slide your finger off of the lens a little bit there? Oh, sorry. My bad. Thanks. Hey, yeah. Austin, just looking, at, looking ahead here, assuming there is an agreement, um, it would seem pretty obvious you're going to at least start without fans. I'm sure you've played, you know, at some – lower level in the minors or something, maybe in smaller ballparks, but I'm sure you're giving that some thought. What's that going to be like with no fans around? 
Uh, it'll be def- definitely be interesting. I have gotten a taste of that in rookie ball in the GCL, 110 degrees in the summer heat, no fans, only my girlfriend at the time, or obviously Alexis would be my girlfriend at the time in the stands or whatnot. But uh, it's definitely going to be some getting used to. I think we're at the point now where we want to get out and play. I think, um, you know, with no fans or with fans or whatnot, um, we're going to find a way. We have a young group. We have a lot of guys that are really good and like to compete. And if we're as long as we're competing against somebody, we're getting obviously being televised and stuff like that. I think it's it's good for baseball to be out there and continue to, to play in front of fans and just get back. But I, I think guys are hungry and, and guys are going to want to be out there seeing each other, getting to play with each other every day. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be too much of an adjustment, but it'll definitely be a little bit, a little bit weird for sure. And, and just, just related to that, Grace asked about this kind of too, but there'll be some rules, no spitting, no high-fiving, things like that. Is that going to be an adjustment for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it's going to be an adjustment for everybody. Uh, I think it's like no showering after games and no cages and no all, all sorts of stuff. But like I said, uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be an adjustment. It's going to be a really, really big adjustment. Um, but, you know, I think we've come – to a point where we can all say we're just ready to get out there, whatever it takes, um, whether, however many games it's going to be. You know, we just want to get out there, play with each other, and continue to continue to try to compete and win. Could Could you just provide a general sense of uh, who was there today? Just what was the feeling like being back in the building and, and seeing guys, and you know, albeit light workouts, just what what that meant for you guys? Step in the right direction. It was great seeing everybody. Um, I, I didn't. I missed a to the first two pitchers because we kind of had to stagger it amongst coaches and staff there. Uh, but I saw a handful of pitchers and position players. I think they were excited just to get back to something that they're normal or used to, given that it was very unusual circumstances, kind of went through a back gate um, and, and certainly were wearing masks and trying to take every precautionary measure possible. But step in the right direction, and it was good to see some smiling faces. Kevin, what, what were some of the things guys were able to do? I know you kind of laid out roughly what the plan was. And were guys actually wearing masks on the field too? Uh, players did not have masks on. Uh, everybody else had masks. Uh, but the actual players that were active were, were not wearing masks. Um, they were allowed to play catch, condition run, and then kind of we, we set up like a makeshift gym uh, where they did some – plyo work some lightweight stuff i think it'll continue to evolve as we uh go kind of day to day or right now monday wednesday friday get through this week and then you know maybe we'll have some discussions and see what kind of guidance we're getting from mlb if if it's something that we want to expand on what was the uh, most athletic thing you saw someone do (laughs) um i don't know margot and willie were getting after it pretty good doing some some of their plyo jumps uh but they're two really athletic guys so uh, i'm accustomed uh, accustomed to seeing but it really did you know they they, all the guys came in and you can tell they've done a good job of keeping themselves in shape uh, over the last two months so that's uh that was encouraging Hey, Kevin, we talked to Chad and uh, Kyle on Friday, and they said guys seem pretty ready to go. They're pretty eager to get back on the field. Did you, did you see that? Today yeah, I think that, that's fair. They, they, they are eager and ready to go. Um, I think there's still a lot that has to be figured out, sorted through between the safety protocols, reentry protocols, and certainly an agreement between MLB and the, and the players. But um, – a lot of people are working really, really hard to try to accomplish all those things in a, in a pretty condensed time frame. Hey, Kevin, with the other three major sports taking some pretty significant steps towards either beginning or resuming their seasons, do you get there's a sense of urgency from the players, from everyone in baseball, just to get something done and not allow money be the reason that a season doesn't get underway? Well, I think there's a sense of urgency for everybody just to, to play. This is our, our, our livelihood, the player's livelihood, and they want to do everything for the most part that they can to put a, put a product on, uh, on the field that can be seen most likely through a, a TV screen or a computer screen for the time being that can entertain our society. And I think, you know, all sports are kind of looking at it that way. 
Kevin, uh, I know you said that there was going to be uh, uh, a number of safety protocols that are going to be developed, but what was done today? Uh, was, was there nasal swabs? Was there temperature checks? What was, what was done to, to try and get guys on the field today? Yeah, right. When you walked in, uh, there was you, you, Joe Binge would ask, uh, you know, about six or seven questions and then take a temperature check. Uh, and then we had a hand washing station and then also a hand sanitizing station right when you walk in. And then we had a lot of the hand sanitizer uh, bottles and spray uh, as they were kind of performing their athletic um, duties or whatever uh, to where if anybody needed anything, they could quickly uh, clean their hands. And then, like I said earlier, we were all in mask uh, with the exception – the players had masks also, but we were all in mask with the exception of players while they were active. So, Kevin, um, do, do you expect this to be the routine until further notice? I mean, uh, will some directive come down that you can, like, use more of the facility later this week or next week or something? Is, yeah, is, I mean, is that your expectation? I, I think so. I think that we're, we're following MLB's guidelines first and foremost, and then we're getting, um, you know, a lot of opinions throughout the organization on uh, how to facilitate this through our building, through the TROP, making sure that, that everything is sanitized and as clean as, as, as we're happy with our trainers and, and, and certainly – security personnel that that are you know run the trop jim prevater and his group um and then yeah we'd like to see it evolve i mean if you know we've all heard the same dates that that you guys have heard and if those dates are in actuality we probably need to get going a little bit and and starting some 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 more aggressive type of a routine. But I think this was a really good start for uh, a, a first day and a first week. Uh, I know Eric has been adamant about let, let's, let's take it slow, be precautionary. We all agree with that. Uh, and, and maybe take the baby steps and see where we are after three of these. Kevin, obviously the people that were there came voluntarily. Were guys talking about, like, you know, any concerns they had? Or you think it was more of, hey, let's make use of this, you know, 30 minutes, 60 minutes we have on the field and, and kind of focus that way or a little bit of both? There, there really wasn't any talk at all. It was kind of, how are you doing? How's your family? Who have you seen? What have you been up to? Um, and, and then it was much more just, you know, excited to, to be out here and doing something where it, it was something that was somewhat provided for them rather than having to go find a place to, to go run or play catch somewhere outside. Right. And, and guys being guys being athletes, I'm sure they probably, they wanted to do more. I guess you guys probably had to lay out the rules, right? Yeah. Guys, and I, like, I, 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 exactly what I just said to, to, to Dick, I, I, I said to the players, like, we're going to take this slow this first week we'll revisit where we're at we're certainly going to listen to their input um you know come come thursday or friday after friday's uh workout and, and then see if it's something that we want to grow in uh or add in a little bit more um but yeah i, I think they would love to have bp right now willie was talking about taking ground balls and I mean, the field looked really good. Dan Moeller and his group staff have done a good job of keeping it. And it's all ready to go. It's just basically getting a thumbs up from MLB and then our specific raise organization and um, top membership saying that we feel we, we, can, we can manage this safely. Kevin, if Kevin. July is a start date, when do these pitchers really need to get their arms throwing and, and throwing at a, a pretty high velocity? Well, they are throwing. And I, and I think if you went and pulled the group, most of them have been throwing some sort of bullpen or flat ground where they're letting it go pretty good right now. I know talking to Kyle that he, he would really like um, for all of our pitchers, especially the guys that we ask link from, so may starters or guys that you know have the three or four innings of work that build up, to come into some sort of camp having an already performed an up and down session, whether it's a bullpen, a live BP, whatever it is. So if that's the case, um, you know, we're crunching a little bit here with time. Uh, if, if, if that June 10th or right around there is, is accurate. But I think, you know, we're going to know more by, by through once we get through this week. It sounds like Tuesday there's going to be some sort of proposal sent and just see where everybody stands. Kevin, that big 
document that was sent out, um, the 67 page document with all the health and safety protocols. I mean, some of it seems fair, uh, you know, like no spitting sunflower seeds, obviously, but is there any part of it? Did you really? I thought that was the least fair part to me. <laughs> no, you're probably right. Um, did it, I mean, which part seemed a little excessive to you? Do you want to see anything changed, anything specific? Well, I, I wouldn't describe it anything as being excessive. I think everybody is um, putting a lot of thought and we're, we're trying to get experts and doctors and scientists from all over the country. I know MLB is using the, uh, the lab at U the University of Nebraska, which I've since learned is, you know, way up there as far as decision makers uh, with infectious disease. So I think th there are things that the players are going are, are gonna to think about and find out how realistic some of these things are going to uh, be to be upheld. What they are specifically, I mean, you could ask 10 different people that, and I think you might get 10 different answers. Kevin, how about for, uh, for guys that are still outside of the country, guys like Yoshi and G-Man, have you heard from them? And, uh, and is there any sort of ETA that you've heard about when they might be back? No, no ETA. I, have, uh, I personally have not heard from Yoshi. We've gone back and forth with his rep uh, representatives. And then certainly Shen, one of our trainers, has talked with him, communicated. Um, and then same with G-Man. But uh, we have not put on a, a timetable for them to come back. Uh, we did talk today about Japan, their league, it sounded like was, was opening them up. Am I still there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, their league was opening up. Uh, I heard, did I hear the second of June or second of July? I'm not sure what it was, but either way. So that, that's, that's a good sign. It sounds like that country is doing well. Um, We'll continue to keep keep our eyes on them. The last thing we wanted to do is insinuate to players without some sort of um, or, or a more stringent guideline from MLB or some dates in place and tell them to, to get back here with so much unknown left. Kevin, when we spoke last week, was that the guesstimate that, that we had discussed of about 20 players, was that about – Fair for today? Was there? Yeah, I think I think there were fourteen, fourteen today, um, I believe, and then we're expecting a couple more uh, as the week unfolds. Kevin, all the teams are in the same boat here, but you guys have legitimate World Series aspirations and <laughs> a legitimate contender. How difficult has this process been waiting this out, um, and all the talk of when baseball starts, if it starts, knowing that you guys have a real shot at this. Well, uh, it's difficult for all teams. Certainly it was difficult for us. It, it, you know, we, we built a lot of momentum uh, last year, carry, carrying it into the offseason and then into spring training. We did. We felt really good about our, our, our club. We still do. We were very fortunate throughout spring training to avoid – any injury, major injuries. There were, you know, a couple minor things here and there, but that, that happens all the time. I can't recall spring training uh, before this one that there wasn't significant setbacks. Um, so for that, we, we, we want to be playing because we do think we're a good club. We respect that there's a lot of good clubs out there, but uh, our team, the, 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 the excitement that they bring to the ballpark uh, gives us that hope of being really good and contending. Kevin, you said there were about 14. Was these all guys who were already in the area, or did some some guys fly in from other places? All, all guys that are in the area. Uh, no, nobody uh, traveled in from out of the the Bay Area or state, for that matter. And who who else was around, Kevin? I know you said you thought a couple of the other coaches would be there. Uh, I I crossed paths with Kyle. Um, and he saw all the pitchers throw, so that's why I kind of caught the last tail end of the pitchers. Uh, Joe Benj was there. Uh, TC, our strength coach, was there. And then, um, you know, we, we had uh, some of the stadium ops guys, and then uh, Ryan Denlinger and Tyler Wall also were there. Uh, they're in the process of getting organized and running a truck down to Port Charlotte. Cause when we left Port Charlotte, we just kind of left everything there. So that's been another job where they're loading a the truck, bringing it back and then letting it sit kind of in a day of containment before it's unloaded. So it sounds like overall it felt pretty good to be back and have the guys around. 
Yeah, it was good. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it, it was still odd. I mean, I didn't give up, I didn't walk up and handshake anybody or give anybody a hug. And normally when you go that long without seeing them, you're probably doing that. So that was odd, but certainly respecting the situation and what's at stake, we, we, we're, we're going to, we're going to do what we're asked. I might've missed this at the start of the call because I came in a little late. What exactly were they, they doing this? I heard you say no BP or, or taking ground balls or anything. So what kind of things were they doing? Yeah, they just uh, played catch. They did some running, some conditioning. And then we've kind of uh, pieced together, built a, a, a somewhat of a makeshift uh, weight room, which I think we're going to continue to expand on. This kind of happened pretty fast and um, wanted to make sure that we were – uh, who who all was going to be there and, and get a sense of what the guys needed. And I think, like I said earlier, you know, maybe by the – we're going to do it Wednesday, we're going to do it Friday, and then maybe by the end of the week, if we want to add stuff, we'll, we'll consider doing that. Any other questions, gang? All right. Hey, everybody, I uh, hope, hope you guys are staying safe and certainly happy Memorial Day. And thanks to all of our, uh, and our, our, our veterans and, and loss that have helped us. It's, even though, you know, baseball does such a good job of representing uh, those, some of these special summer holidays. And it is, anytime this pops up, uh, it just makes you think, you know, we're not doing what we like. And, and, but I, I want to at least acknowledge all of that on, on Memorial Day.